and it's early morning, for me anyway, and mornings are starting later. The chickens, when I go down to let them out, sometimes they're still on the roost. So I'm making biscuits this morning and I thought I'd invite you into my kitchen. And I want to tell you, it's not my one, two, three method of making biscuits. It's from a southern biscuit recipe. And uh, I, I'm going to read you the introduction to it, but it's a recipe that our son found and it's not a family recipe. So unfortunately, this is not my great-great-grandmother. These biscuits are authentic. This recipe came from my great-great-grandmother and was handed down to all the women in my family. We are all Southern. I am the first one to commit the sin of using a food processor. But I find it works very well, and I would put these biscuits up against anyone's. They are perfect in every single way. I hope you enjoy them. So we're going to make them this morning. And I've already used my food processor, and I've got two cups of unbleached flour. But what I have, I have a combination of icorn um, and some other flours. Okay, and not very much icorn, but I wanted to put some in. Okay, it has a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of baking powder without aluminum, okay, uh, one teaspoon of salt, six tablespoons of unsalted butter, very cold. I didn't have unsalted butter, so I used my salted butter, very cold. And I cut the sugar, uh, the salt by a, a half a teaspoon. And then one cup, approximately, of buttermilk. Now, I want you to tell you the secret to any biscuits is don't handle them very much. So, I'm going to see if I can do that and get a biscuit. And, yeah, the more you handle the biscuits... Uh, it's not as good. So I'm going to dump the, my buttermilk in and um, there it goes. And we want it just to be combined. Okay. It's almost there. Oh dear, I hope I'm not overdoing it. Okay, I'm just about to get it onto the board. I think that's it. And, wait just a minute. There we are. And it said if if it was a little too dry, you could add a little more buttermilk, but they're not. And I do have to do a little bit to them. Oh, yeah, there. I'm going to turn it over one more time. Okay, mine are definitely not too dry. If anything, I could probably put in a little less. Okay, now I'm just going to cut mine. That's it. See, I didn't handle them, I don't think, very much. And... They could have been maybe not, not so thick, but that's how I'm going to make mine. Okay, I think we're going to get eight out of here. Okay, there they go. 
And then they cook, uh, how long do they cook? They cook in a 450 oven, I can tell you that. And I think it's uh, a 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, they're sort of hard to even pick up. I know what I'll do. There. Now see that that doesn't take long at all. And we're going to pop them in the oven. And since I don't have a pause, I'll, I'll let you see what they look like at the end, but it will be two different, it will be part one and part two. Wow. <laughs> it's going to be tricky getting them in here. I should have had them on a pan, I suppose, but I usually just cook them in a pie dish. And I usually just have six. So in they go. And I'll turn on the timer. What did I say? Ten, uh, ten, oh, ten to twelve. I got it there. I just put it on ten. I can leave it longer. Oh, my hands got all sticky. Okay, before I let you go, I want to tell you about my salve that I made the other day. I don't know if you watched that video. Um, it was on my knee salve. I'm not sure what I called it, but... Oh, well, okay, it's from yesterday. You'll see the video I made, made yesterday. Anyway, <clears throat> I patterned my recipe from my um, body butter that I made, and that uses the fourth a cup of the thick um, butter, um, like, oh, you can use coconut uh, oil, or you could use co coconut butter like I did, or shea butter, or any of those, and then, what did I have? I think I had uh, a half a cup of, uh, of oil. I should have looked at my recipe. Wait just a minute. I have it written down. Okay. Uh, I'm telling you wrong right off the bat. What I did was two tablespoons of uh, cocoa butter. Uh, and, and those are what you want of the harder uh, butters and um, the hard ones. The oil, you want a fourth of a cup to put it, and I just made the one container. That's all I wanted, was to make one. And, and uh, the only thing, and I put the comfrey powder in it, that is the only thing that I would change, and I was, um, and it's definitely a salve because of its firmness. And I was aiming for that horse liniment uh, reaction and smell, and I think I got it. Now, I don't know if it's my imagination, but every time I put it on, within three to five minutes, I have the sensation that I can feel it in my feet. I, I don't know why, but I've been putting it on my knee, and uh, also I've started on my hip, and I think it's making a difference. And anyway, I love the smell of it. And what it has in it, if you haven't watched that video, it has essential oils of wintergreen, camphor, peppermint, and eucalyptus. And remember, all of those are good for joints, pain. One of them even said sciatica. So Janet, maybe you might want to make this because I really do think it, it has helped. And I know if you were in extreme pain and whatnot, I, 
I'm sure it's not going to be a cure-all, but it might be a help. And But the only thing is, like I say, because I put in that camphor powder from my camphor, I mean comfrey, excuse me, I comfrey. I ground, I dried my comfrey. You never want to put fresh comfrey in oil. It's too liquid, uh, too much liquid in the plant. It's very watery actually, and it will mold. So you always want to work with dried comfrey. So I put it in my dehydrator, I dried it, I powdered it up, and I put it in here. But you have those little green <laughs> flakes that get get on when you rub so that part I think I would have done different I would have extracted through the oil my uh, comfrey first and then just put the that oil without the little flakes itself in my salve so that's my salve report I thought it turned out very well and I'm gonna turn off the cam the camera and we'll see you in just about 10 minutes or less, and I'll show you my biscuits. So have a good day. Remember, when you make biscuits, don't handle them very much.